Hi, this is Jack Crooks for Money and Markets TV. Last month, the euro rose 3.8% against the dollar, a big move in the Forex market. The main reason for the euro's rebound is renewed focus on money printing by central banks. And it's not just the ECB. Other policymakers are complicit in a global effort to keep interest rates down and credit lines open. The European Central Bank has actually resisted a true program of quantitative easing thus far. And it chose not to slash interest rates at its last meeting. But most analysts believe that a rate cut is coming within the next month. And the ECB recently added hundreds of billions of euros to the financial system through its long-term refinancing operation with the expectation that the banks will use the easy money to purchase the sovereign debt of struggling Eurozone nations. In addition, the ECB is becoming reliant on currency swaps with the U.S. Federal Reserve to help boost liquidity. In fact, outstanding swaps haven't been this high since the depths of the credit crunch in 2009. But ultimately, the ECB will have to become the backstop of last resort in order to relieve the pressure on banks and sovereign debt. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve has pledged to keep interest rates low through 2014, a year longer than previously promised. And many analysts now believe that a third round of quantitative easing is only a matter of time, likely whenever Greece is forced to default on its debt, which could happen soon. But as Mike Larson pointed out last week, the Fed's QE programs just prop up asset prices and do nothing to boost the real economy. So far, the world's focus has remained fixed on continental Europe, but it's the United Kingdom that's about to enter a technical recession. The Bank of England is expected to print another 50 billion pounds to try and shore up the budget to go along with increased taxes and spending cuts. Most of those spending cuts have yet to be implemented, which suggests that the British recession could go on for quite some time. Halfway around the world, the People's Bank of China is wrapped up in its own management efforts. It's trying to find a monetary policy that keeps growth strong, but doesn't allow inflation to get out of control. That means encouraging lending and investment through government conduits, but also slamming on the brakes when it needs to. In addition, it means doing its share to keep the current global system operational, because it recognizes that the European debt crisis could spread further, threatening demand for Chinese exports. All this intervention by global policymakers has caused an explosion in central banks' balance sheets. The world's eight biggest central banks have more than $15 trillion on their books, nearly triple the size of their balance sheets just six years ago. Despite all their money printing, we expect credit to keep tightening and deleveraging to continue, eventually overwhelming the impact of the central bank's efforts. But until that happens, the low, in low interest rates and easy money will continue to prop up risk assets. For currency investors, that means that as long as the ECB is able to ward off contagion from the sovereign debt crisis, the euro should strengthen against the dollar. I'm Jack Crooks for Money and Markets TV. Thanks for watching.